Hey Rigid Nation, I'm Morgan, a project engineer with Rigid, and today I'll be going over how to wire and program a Rigid Chase Bar. The cable for the Chase Bar has six wires. I'll start with the red and black wire, which are standard power and ground. When these two wires are hooked up, the bar will become operational and light up as the running mode. We recommend this to be tied to your vehicle ignition. You can set your running light to any pre-programmed mode by using the yellow program wire. When the chase bar is powered, tap the yellow wire to a voltage source to change the light setting. For the chase bar to be functional, the red and black wire must always be connected to the power and ground. If you choose to not have a running light, there is an all-off mode you can use. Here we have a chase bar that we've already mounted. We've run power and ground to the bar and we've also added a momentary switch to connect the yellow program wire to the red power wire. This will allow us to tap the yellow wire to power to change the mode. This is one simple option on how to set up the program wire, but any other method to apply 12 volts to the yellow wire would also work. We have the ignition power turned on. Let's set the running mode. Now let's look at the blue, white, and green wires. These are going to be your trigger wires, or the wires that you can tie into separate switches or voltage lines in your vehicle, like your brakes or turn signals. These wires have priority levels with white as the lowest, then blue, then green is the highest priority. This determines how your selected modes will overlap each other. All triggers will overlap the selected running mode. For example, if you'd like to set the light up to use with your brake and turn signals, you would use the white wire for the brake mode and the green and blue wires for turn signals. The chase bar would then have your default running light. When you push on the brake, show your brake light. And when you put a turn signal on, overlap a portion of the running or brake mode with the turn indicator. We have our running light programmed. Let's program in a brake light. We've tied our white wire to our brake line and I have Ryan here to help me out. He's going to push down on the brake pedal so that power is running to the brake lights. Now we'll set the brake light mode. Now you've seen how to program the chase bar and whether you're out there having fun or racing, you're now ready to own the night.